I'm going to compare the best medium daily driver ships, which being the RSI Zeus, the Kati Black, Freelancer Max, Freelancer and C1 Spirit. Let's jump into it. In fifth place I would say, in fifth place is going to be the RSI Zeus CL. And why is this? Because it has a slow speed and low maneuverability. So you will be a sitting duck in PvP situations. It also only has two pilot guns, which makes the damage very limited. But it does have nice cargo. It has the biggest cargo in the lineup of all of these ships with 128 SEU, which make it a great cargo ship. It also has very strong seals with 15,000 HP. And of course it comes with a remote turret. It has decent fuel capacity of 66.5 SEU. And it has VTOL thrusters, which makes it a very good ship still. But it's not the best on the list, even though it's a good ship. This ship is only really good if you want to haul cargo in the pyro system. But it doesn't make it a bad ship. It, it just ranks lowest on the list of all of these ships. In fourth place, I would say is the Musk Freelancer Max. The same thing here why it's on this list is that it's very sluggish. So it's turn radius and all those things, it will get out maneuvered in a PvP situation. It's also a very heavy ship, so whenever you fly it you feel very heavy and sluggish. It has no VTOL thrusters as well. It does have good fuel capacity and fuel is important in Pyro since you can't refuel every station. With a fuel of 58.5, which makes it very good. Also another advantage of the ship is that it can carry a Ursa Rover or the medical version of it. It has 8 missiles which is awesome and it has the second highest cargo capacity. It also has very good shields with 13k shields and 21k HP in the hull. So the Freelancer Max is a very good ship but there's better ships for the task. Moving on in third place I would say is the Crusader C1 Spirit. It has weak shields, which is a very big drawback. It only has one shield of 4,700. And it has a lower capacity for cargo, which is 64 SEUs of cargo. But we're not using these ships for cargo. We're using them as a daily driver. These ships should fit the swift knife roll, so it should be able to do a little bit of everything. And another drawback of the C1 is that it only has one entry point. You can only enter from the back, which is not good. But what's the pros of the ship? It has VTOL thrusters, which makes it a lot easier to land with. It's very lightweight, so it feels awesome when flying. It has a balanced loadout with four controlled pilot weapons, which makes it decent in fire damage. It has a remote tractor beam, which is more that you can save for the freelancers. And it's very agile, so it is a very good agile ship. You can actually PvP with the ship. The second place is going to be the Musk Freelancer. You might think why is the Musk Freelancer in second place? Well, it's because it has such a huge fuel tank. It has 108 SEUs of fuel, which will last you forever. This is why it's in second place. It's because of the fuel tank. And it has good shields and hull HP with seals being 13k and hull HP being 31k. It also has good fire damage and it's a nice and compact size. The only drawback of the Musk Freelancer, the same with the Freelancer Max, it has very low maneuverability. So you will get outturned in a gunfight. The cargo grid is still decent, but the Zeus and the Max still has more cargo. It only has a 66 SEU of cargo. Which is still decent, we're not using these ships for cargo hauling. And lastly, it has no VTOL thrusters. The Freelancer is a good all-rounder ship with good durability and firepower and of course that massive fuel tank. And of course, in first place as you can guess is the Drake Cutlass Black. Let's start off with the cons. The Kati Black has very low cargo capacity which limits it for large hauling. Well, as I said, we're not using these ships for actually hauling cargo. We just want to steal cargo and be off. Another drawback of the Cathy Black is that it has the smallest fuel tank on the list with only 36.5 SEUs of fuel, which means you're going to have to familiarize yourself 
with the best places to refuel. Those are only two cons. Low capacity, low cargo capacity and small fuel tank. What are the pros? Well, the Cutty Black has the best maneuverability of all of the ships. It's one of the fastest ships on the list. And it has excellent firepower and it has the most missiles on the list. But there's one other drawback that I forgot to mention. It only has one shield. So it has 4k shield and 28k hull HP. The hull HP is decent. It has VTOL thrusters. And of course it has the small cargo grid of 46 SEUs. So why is the Cutty Black the rank 1 in this list? It's just because it is the best in PvP out of all of these ships. And when you go into a turn battle, the Cutty Black will be the victor. Even though it has low shields, you can outturn the player. And when you have such high speeds with the Cutty Black, people will miss their shots. If you're a decent pilot. Just note that all of these ships are still good ships. Each ship just excels in its own way. Just like the Zeus CL dominates in cargo hauling, the Freelancer Max offers great durability and damage. And of course the Cutty Black is a premium PvP. If I had to choose two ships for PvP, I would choose the Cutty Black and the C1 just because they are nimble. If I had to choose one ship that covers everything, I would choose the Freelancer just because of its huge fuel tank. But if I had to only choose one ship for PvP and having to fight my way through a battle, I would choose the Cutty Black. So the ranking stands as the Cutty Black being in first place, in second place is the Miss Freelancer. In third place is the Crusader C1 Spirit. In fourth place is the Miss Freelancer Max. And in fifth place, the RSI Zeus CL. The Zeus CL ranking might frustrate a few people because it is the newer ship on the list. But this is a subjective video. What's your opinion? Which of these ships do you think will be the best in the Pyro system? Let me know in the comments. Before you click off this video, I want to give you something that I made. So this is a spreadsheet of all the daily drivers with all of their stats included. I made a little ranking system where you can put in the weights of the ship. So here you can see damage weight, shield weight and so forth. So let's just put everything to one. You can see mass of ship, quantum drive, fuel tank, everything. If you change the rankings, the spreadsheet will rank all the ships. Here you can see the rankings. First place is the Misk Freelancer. Second place, the Zeus. And so forth, Cutty Black actually turns into last place. But if you change the rankings, let's say maneuverability is a 9 out of 10. Cargo, we, want, we don't really care about cargo, it's a free. And... Uh, Hull HP, well, let's, let's just say 2, shield HP, how important is shield H HP, let's say 6, and damage, we, we, we probably will say it's a 10, right, everybody loves damage, anyway, speed and maneuverability, that's also a 9, and fuel tank, hydro fuel tank, whatever, let's just say 5, anyway, this is how you put the weights of the ship, and the rankings will change. Now you will see the first place is still the Musk Freelancer. And the Cutty Black is still fourth place. So, or that the AI is using some algorithms to rank the ship. You can see here's a score of each ship. If you change the weights of the spreadsheet, the rankings will change. But this is something I made for the video that I want to give you. If you want to play around with it, I'll leave the link in the description you can play around with it and based off your own requirements you can change the weight the weight of the stats that you think is best for you so here's my gift to you just because you watch until the end of the video the link of the spreadsheet will be in the description so make sure to go and check it out i will only put it in the description not the pinned comment if you've liked this video give this video a like and if you want to see more videos like this, you can watch this video.